Hello, my name is Xavier, a librarian from the National Library Board, and today I would like to welcome you to another school holiday special video. Now, I'm going to teach you some DIY photo taking tips that you can use with just your mobile phone and these household items. You don't need to spend a ton of money uh, on expensive photo taking equipment or accessories when you can reuse everyday objects around you in creative ways. Without further ado, let's get started. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the photos we took and also a very special story. Have you ever wanted to take underwater photos like this? For simple photos, you don't need an elaborate waterproof case. All you need is a clear Ziploc bag and a steady hand. Have your phone ready on camera mode and place it into the Ziploc bag. Seal it up completely and carefully lower your phone into the water. You'll be able to take simple photos like these that play with water levels. Do ensure that your Ziploc bag is fully sealed and waterproof before attempting this trick. Seek an adult's guidance and permission before trying this out. The next photography trick makes use of old plastic sheets and white bulb markers you have lying around. Use the markers to colour the plastic sheets to create coloured filters. You can use multiple colours and even draw patterns as well. When you're setting up, simply place the plastic sheet in between the camera and your subject. The coloured filters change up your otherwise ordinary photo. If you have translucent coloured files such as these, even better. You can use them as coloured filters right away. You can even make use of common kitchenware such as a strainer or a fruit basket. Placing these in front of your camera casts some cool shadows on your subject. It's a really convenient and quick trick. Try it for yourself. Do you have old CDs you don't use anymore? Before you recycle them, why not use them to reflect light and create rainbows in your photos? Find the brightly lit area to take your photo or shine a torchlight at the CD. The shiny side of the CD will reflect the light to create a pale rainbow. This works best on a white surface so that you can clearly see the different colours. I hope these DIY photography tricks gives you some idea on how to reuse items around you creatively. Now, I would like to tell you a very special story about my friend Leona over here through a series of photos. See if you can spot all the photography tricks that I've talked about in this story. Hello world, my name is Leona. I'm a sea turtle and this is the story of my life. It all began when I was born, or rather, hatched. This is what I saw when I first hatched from my shell. I heard ocean waves, and I saw the shells of my siblings around me on the sand. The warm moonlight shone down on the beach, and I breathed in the smell of sea salt and spray. I knew what I had to do. I knew where I had to go. The ocean was calling me, and the moon will guide me. I'll never forget the first time I met the ocean and plunged into the water. Woo! What a rush! Of course, it did not take long for me to get the hang of this turtle business. Life was good. Maybe too good. One fine day, I was out in the ocean, minding my own business, when I swam right into something floating in the waters. I was trapped in a plastic bag. No, help! Get me out of here! Luckily for me, I have friends from many places. My fellow turtle friends came to my rescue. They pulled me out from the plastic bag and I was set free. All was well, but it was a harrowing experience nonetheless. I hope I never have to go through this again. With your help, the oceans can be kept clean and safe for me and my other marine friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story of Leona. 
Did you catch all the instances of DIY photo taking tricks that we use in this video? <laughs> Let's see. We use this Ziploc bag trick to create this underwater shot. By colouring plastic sheets and placing them over our camera, we are able to take shots like this. Next, the effect of shadows in our photos was done by placing a strainer over our camera. And lastly, by shining and reflecting a light on the CD, we are able to create rainbows in our photos. So the next time you're about to throw away one of your old CDs or loose plastic sheets, remember these DIY photography tricks that you just learned. Maybe you can use them to tell homemade stories like that of Leona's so that we can all learn the little things we can do to keep the environment safe for wildlife, turtles and other animals we all know and love. Before we go, here are some book recommendations that you can check out at the public libraries. Thank you and I'll see you again in the next school holiday special. Bye!